Today is a great day for Frederick County. We celebrate the groundbreaking for the new Northgate Fire Station, which will serve the northwestern part of the city of Frederick and the surrounding communities. Usually groundbreakings are exciting events with large groups of people in attendance. But because of the coronavirus, we chose to celebrate this event virtually. The Northgate Fire Station is ideally located. With an entrance on the northern end of Thomas Johnson Drive, the site offers easy access to both US 15 and Monocacy Boulevard. And that means we can reach people faster when they need help. Because at the end of the day, it's all about taking care of people. When the Northgate Fire Station is completed at the end of 2021, this state-of-the-art facility will be able to house up to 22 firefighters. We expect Northgate to be busy as soon as it opens, with projections of more than 3,000 calls a year in their first due response area. I'm especially proud of the fact that the building includes new features to reduce the risk of cancer for the staff who work there. We know that when firefighters are battling a blaze, they're exposed to toxic chemicals as a result of new building materials burning. Northgate has been designed to prevent toxic particles from reaching the living area of the station house, keeping our staff as safe as possible. Fire Chief Tom Coe will tell us a bit more about these features in just a moment. Today is a great day in Frederick County as we gather virtually to conduct the ceremonial groundbreaking for the much anticipated Northgate Fire Station. Located on Thomas Johnson Drive between Hayward Road and Christopher's Crossing, the Northgate Fire Station will serve the rapidly expanding region of northern Frederick City and surrounding communities. Today's groundbreaking is the culmination of over 20 years of effort to locate a station in this area of the county. This modern-day, efficiency-driven, state-of-the-art public safety facility will take approximately 12 months to build. The structure itself will cover 22,300 square feet, include five apparatus bays, and living area and office space to house up to 22 fire rescue responders. The environmentally friendly building design includes an HVAC system that boasts an efficiency rating that is 70% better than conventional systems. When the doors of the Northgate Fire Station open in 2021, it will house an ambulance, fire engine, battalion chief, an EMS supervisor. Station 29, as it will also be known, will serve as host to seven personnel who will staff the station 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. This station, its apparatus, and the personnel assigned to it will reduce response times to the more than 3,000 emergency calls the station will respond to annually. Frederick County remains steadfast in our commitment to the health and safety of our first responders. Aside from the daily risk our personnel face while answering a call for assistance, cancer has continued to be one of the largest threats in our profession. In an effort to combat the daily exposure of first responders to carcinogens, we have worked to integrate several industry-proven construction features into this facility in order to lessen exposure and reduce health risks to our personnel. A negative pressure air handling system placed between the apparatus bay and living areas coupled with a vehicle exhaust system to remove toxic fumes from the workplace. Placement of hand washing stations, designated decontamination areas, and state-of-the-art appliances to wash and maintain the firefighters' personal protective equipment are all also included in the design of this facility. On behalf of the Frederick County Division of Fire and Rescue Services, I would like to thank County Executive Jan Gardner and the members of the Frederick County Council for their support in bringing this needed public safety facility to fruition. Additionally, I would like to thank the staff within the Frederick County Department of Public Works, as well as our public and private sector partners who continue to work closely with fire rescue leadership to bring this state-of-the-art facility to life. Keep an eye on the Division of Fire and Rescue Services social media platforms for updates on the construction of the Northgate Fire Station. Firefighters throughout Frederick County are called upon to serve and protect their fellow citizens by responding to horrendous events and by saving lives and property of others in spite of the clear danger to their own lives. The new fire station ambulance staffing will come from a reassignment of the second ambulance crew in the Junior Fire Company, 535 North Market Street, no additional personnel are needed. 
Engine staffing has been approved in the FY21 budget, 13 new positions made up of nine for the unit and four for leave impact. The recruit class for Northgate will be hired as part of the recruit class 29, which is slated to start on January 4, 2021. They will graduate around mid-July 2021 and go into field training. They will be available for duty by mid-August 2021 and assigned as needed until the station opens. Frederick County firefighters and emergency responders demonstrate the true meaning of heroism by taking great risks to safeguard our communities. I want to thank Chief Coe and Deputy Chief Steve Leatherman from the Division of Fire and Rescue Services, as well as the Division of Public Works Director Chuck Knipe and Project Manager Tracy Diggs for their hard work to move this project forward. The Northgate Fire Station will help to protect people and will ensure a bright future for Frederick County. Now let's go grab our shovels. <laughs>